WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 82. NASDAQ is up 56. S&P is a flat gold contract up $14.60 trading at 1715 an ounce. We have silver down 7 cents, $14.79. And the silver market, light sweet crude, up a buck, $20.82 a barrel, notes and bonds. We have the 10-year, up two ticks, 138.30. The 30-year, flat at 180.20. Uh, both notes and bonds, folks, have been basically going sideways uh, for just about a month. That being said, uh, subtly, each and every time that you're a little bit lower, you do have an expansion of volume. So I expect what we're looking at here is that you are building cars for higher price. Thus far, though, flat for over a month. King dollar. King dollar up 402 ticks, trading 99.481. The euro is out here at 109. The yen is at 106.73. And the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. You get, we go over to the uh, S&Ps out here, folks. What we did on Friday is the bottom line is that you back down. You back down with the tremendously lighter volume. Uh, bottom line, you're going to have lighter volume today. And, um, you know, bottom line is that there's no buyers out here and there's no sellers out here. So uh, any time that the uh, SPY stays under 284.90, that wants lower price. And I expect the next lower price that we're going after inside the SPY is 272. Right now, you're at 282. We take a look at the NDX 100. NDX was the first one that went green out here today, trying to stay green. Uh, bottom line inside the NDX, uh, you can say yeah, you got a rejection of lower price. You do have lighter volume, so the bottom line, that's where the divergence is saying that, yeah, this NDX could make a run once again up into those highs of 220, and right now you're at 214. You're going to need some buyers in there, though. Uh, there's no two ways about that. Gold. Gold contract caught a bid once again. Gold is staying in the higher range. Gold's down 141,000 contracts. You're at 1714. Uh, bottom line, this thing wants to run up into the 1800 mark. And if we take a look and we go into that note and bond market, what you're going to see out here once again, the bottom line is that you've had a sideways move out here. We bring this back all the way to the uh, 30th of March and the same type of number. Uh, we take a look at the 10-year. Uh, right now, we are yielding 0.63 of 1. Stay right there, folks. Next 60 minutes of trading coming up. And, of course, this week, uh, as well as today, monster numbers coming across this marketplace. Dow, Dow, down 86. NASDAQ up 55. S&P's a flat. We're coming right back.